Goodbye, child. And keep the Karens away. <laughs> Hello, everybody else who is here. We are going to be trying to finish Witchwood today. I know it's been forever since I've streamed, but that's, you know, life and things were happening. And got to spend some time with friends. So. Haha. -ha. Let's get into this. There we go. Go. That's right, we just finished the hawk. We have the hawk. The hogs in the market, the stag in the mountain, and the wolf in the village. With this button. Ha ha! We are going... Oh, actually, I have to go find them. I think I'm gonna head... to the village. Just because that's gonna be the quickest one to get to from here. Okay, no, that button. This button. Map. Um, does the shack exit it while beyond it? Okay. Um, the wolf is up north. Okay. Which I think actually gets into, like, that one guy. He was, like, you know, moping around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Dang, Nabbit. What do they mean, too young for the tavern? I'm plenty big enough to go in there. Hello there, child. What are you so perplexed about? Ch child? I'm no child. I'm a fierce, full muscled man. He puffs out his tiny chest proudly. Oh. That must explain the little patches of fuzz on your chin there. His cheeks flush red in embarrassment as he tries to re reassert his dominant fa facade. Hey, it's rude to stare. Anyway, I I just shaved. I knew I should have let my beard grow out more. That cautery old barkeep says I look too young to go into the tavern. What business do you have in a dang place like that? A lad like you shouldn't be wasting his allowance on ale. I'm not wasting my- I don't get an allowance! I'm a brave hunter! Or at least I will be as soon as I catch my first quarry. And what exactly are you hunting? Only the biggest, baddest beast of them all. The wolf. Do you know how many houses he's blown down? Not to mention all the missing maidens. Missing maidens, you say. Everyone knows that treacherous dog has a sweet tooth for pretty damsels. He lures them out into the dark woods so he can gobble them up. The town guard's too scared to help, so it's up to me to put a stop to this terror. And he's inside that tavern. Right now. A shame there's no miners allowed. Let me have a look at the f pharaoh fellow and see if he's a as bad as you claim. Well, I guess I'll just po post up here until he comes out. Then I'll give him a taste of my blunderbuss. Well, fun. Oh, my God. Hey, oh my god. Water in a pot. You find the wolf looming over a frightened looking barmaid. Come on, Red, why don't you join me for a midnight snack? I I already told you I can't. I got work to do. 
I'm sure your boss won't mind one bite. I mean, bit. Don't make me beg now. Please, I really have to get back to work. Ah, but you're just so delectable. A real feast for the eyes. You accidentally tread on the wolf's tail. Oh, excuse me, sir. He jumps up with a yelp and spins to face you angrily. Yeah, watch where you're stepping, you old hag. Terribly sorry. I couldn't tell you apart from the dirty rug on the floor. He bears his fangs at you menacingly. What did you say to me? While the wolf is distracted, the young maiden slips away and disappears into the gloom of the tavern. Ah, now look what you've done. Where'd she go? He shoves his way past you to go prowling around the bar. Hmm, the huntsman's tale rings true. I better find where that barmaid got to before she becomes dinner. Back room? Yep, back room. You see the maid's red hood poking out from behind a wooden barrel. Oh, it's just you! Thanks for helping me out back there. I was getting a little cramped. It's hard enough serving meat all day, but to have to deal with that slob slavering wolf, too? He does seem to be the relentless type. Are you alright? Just a bit rattled. I was ready to smash a tray out over his snout if he got any closer, but I'm sure that would have landed me in a hot water with the boss. The wolf's turning over every table and bar still trying to sniff you out. Great. I guess I'll just hide back here and, uh, reorganize the storeroom or something. I admire your sense of self privation but maybe there's a more permanent solution to this problem. I know a young huntsman looking to prove himself. Perhaps he we can lure the wolf outside and deal with him there. Sure, but how? You can count me out as bait because I'm done being dog food. I doubt that mutt can see very well in this dingy place. I might be able to fashion a convincing enough likeness to trick him. You eye a nearby coat rack. That ought to make good a good starting place. What, whatever you're going to do, do it fast. I'm losing out on tips. This old coat rock ought to serve as a solid frame. You won't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. Key to my heart, sewing kit, protective talisman. Okay. I know I need that, so I need to go get. I need to go to the graveyard. I need a love potion. Okay. Which I need this where be that. I know I've made this before. Which I'm gonna go ahead and make this out in case. Where is this stupid bottle? There, it's right next to it. I'm blind. The algae okay. Okay. Okay, and then what else did I need? I need- well, I'm gonna need this to get rid of the thing. Which I need those, and I need this, which I think needs spirit salts, and needs unveiling powder. There's gonna be a long setup for this. I need that as well. Okay, I need it. Step one is going to the forest. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, and I know I need a hatchet. I'm gonna get like a few of those. I know I'm gonna need some sticks. I think I'll need. There's gonna be a lot of just gathering random materials <laughs> for a little bit. 
Because, like, we're to a point where we kind of know where a lot of stuff is. So it's not that it's necessarily hard to get a lot of stuff. It's just going to be tedious because I have to make 50 other things. In order to get, like, just one of them. Okay, so here. That is made. Fantabulous. So I can now make this. I need this. Which I can now make that. Now I need one of these. In order to get those, I have to get the little fishies that needs like a fish trap. Which I can make that. I need two of those. I'm gonna get me a few of those. Oh, hi, controller. Okay. I got that. I'm gonna cut these quickly just because I'm going to need this rope stuff like a lot. Oh, I need to make a cinder box real quick. Since I'm already here in the forest, I'm making the cinder box. I'm gonna go get that fruit that I'm going to need. Because I don't want to have to... Backpace a lot. Okay. Also, what am I needing for this? I need another two of these. I need a moo moo milk. Okay. And blood orb. I need dog hair. Which I need. Make another one of these. To make one of these. And I can go get the dog hair right quick. There's a dog up here. There we go. And I'm also just going to go ahead and... Get some of the stuff. Okay. That was to make the blood orb. I'm gonna make like a few of these and we're gonna get some milk. I'll get like two things of milk. Okay. So I got this. I need to go to the docks to get the rest of that, which fine. We're good. That's where we're at with that. That's a graveyard. That's the docks, too. I cannot remember to get the algae. That's fine. I know how to get that. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to go... I can't remember what's down here exactly. You know what, fine. We'll go down here, because I can't remember what is down here. Oh, cool. We're down here, in the fields. That's why I was hoping I would take me. Let's go get the moo moo milk. Okay. Now, I can make that, which I needed, Dark Talisman, 
mission for the Dark Talisman. Got the Dark Talisman. I now have two of the three things, then we just literally have to worry about this. Okay, so now we're gonna go head to the docks. Okay. That's the graveyard which we will have to go to, but I don't wanna head to it now. Oh, that's right, I need a... This thing. Okay. Which I can make now. This thing. Big fish. That fantabulous, and now I gotta get algae. What gets me algae? Oh, you get me like the shells. You're not gonna get me algae. Crabs won't give me algae, those give me crab balls. Is it the fishing spots? Maybe if it's the fishing spots. Those give me the mini fishies. Which I don't exactly need, but okay. I cannot remember how to get algae. Oh! That's easy. Find those spots, okay. Which I needed to make this. So this is part one done. I need to literally go to the graveyard as the last things I need to do. Okay. Coolio, we're making progress. Because I need to get four of the roses. Got a bone. I need to get the skull. I just need spirit salts, which needs unveiling powder. I'm gonna craft like three of them. Well, that worked out. Okay, so now I can make the skeleton key. And then I can make... Oh, no, I need to do that. I need two more of those roses. Okay. I'm just gonna dig up spots as I'm aimlessly wandering around. Rose. Okay, I need one more rose. Hmm. I need a rose, I need a rose. Owie! Bitch. Uh oh. Yeah, so we not playing that game. Hmm. I don't care about the right. <gasps> Rose. I almost missed that. Cool. Make this dark love potion. Fantastic. I guess the thing's this way. 
<sighs> then we go to the village. The Thirsty Gargoyle. That's actually- I like that name. You won't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. Key to my heart. You tap the key in the heart and hear a lovely tone. This will power the puppet's heart and give it a romantic allure. The sewing kit. You take the stalks of the bits and bobs needed for sewing together in convincing physique. There should be enough spare rags in the storeroom for ample stuffing. Protective talisman. If this is to survive an attempt on the, the wolf, it will need all the magical assistance it can get. You place the last stitch against the mannequin's doll-like smile. Its plump head hangs against the coat rack. No livelier than the than a reed in the wind. Are you sure this will work? I know the wolf doesn't have the cutest eyes, but he's no fool either. You grin underneath your cauldron and extend a gnarled finger towards the red hood hanging on the coat rack. It will work just fine, my dear. The hound relies on his sense of smell more than anything else. This spare cloak of yours will complete the illusion. You throw the hood over the puppet's form and utter a dark curse beneath your breath. A great tremor passes through the building, shaking its foundation and making the lights flicker. An eerie light fills the room and illuminating the puppet's body. Its head cocks ever so slightly to hold you in an unsettling gaze. It's... it's... it's alive. Take the puppet. I had better deploy the puppet out of the wolf's sight. This back room should do fine. Then I'll simply walk it over to the sh saliv salivating carnivore and strike up a conversation. Oh. Oh, now I am the puppet. Oh my god. Hi, Zana. You guide the puppet on its invisible strings and plump and bump it into the wolf. Well, 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 look who's come back. I knew you couldn't hide from me forever. You contort the puppet in a flirtatious twist and blow a kiss from the doll's stitched lips. What do you say, you and me? Get out of this stinking tavern, eh? I'll take you up to my place, let you simmer in the, uh, moonlight. You do your best to make the puppet flutter its eyelashes seductively, but the lids get stuck halfway. Thankfully, the wolf is paying too much attention to his hunger to notice. Don't be shy now. I'll show you the night of your life. It'll be a real treat, I promise. The wolf caresses the doll's burlap cheek with a clawed finger, grinning from ear to ear. The puppet returns his affection with a vacant, buttoned-eyed stare. I just got to get a few things prepared. Meet me at my cabin in the dark wood, just north of the swamp. It's a very dangerous road, so don't think about running off. But don't worry, I'll be watching you every step of the way. You know, to make sure you're safe. He looks his chops enthusiastically. Lashing it, his brushy trail back and forth the wolf struts out of the tavern as if he had won a thousand gold coins. You pilot the doll back to the storeroom and it collapses into a bundle at your feet, ready for its next assignment. You did it! That wolf is finally out of my hair. Thank you so much. Maybe now I can finally get some work done around here. Hmm. But I didn't hear a gunshot from our brave huntsman. I best go see if his ambush went awry. Take care, my dear. Don't let the dogs keep you down. Oh my god. <clears throat> the 
the young hunter is practically shaking in his boots when you find him outside the tavern. I- I couldn't do it! I brought that wolf right to you, and you chickened out? What kind of hunter are you? Oh, controller. Be kind. Did you see him? He's huge and a hairy! He gave one look at my little blunderbuss and howled with laughter. How am I even supposed to scratch that monster with this puny pop gun? Sounds like you need some better ammo. As I recall, wolves have a particularly distaste for silver. By Abraham's beard, you're right! What I need is a silver bullet! <sighs> I think I'll make a silver... Oh my god. I need that. I need that. I need that. Fantastic. I need glitter bombs. How many? I need one glitter bomb. She needs some jars. Okay. Glitter bomb. Done. And then I need... Okay. Let's see. That... I think I get that from like those little weird totem things that are going around the orb. I think. We'll see. Snagline. Oh no, which I need a bait stick. Which I can't make, thankfully. I'll put it over the ingredient powder. Worst case, what is it? See if I can get. I don't think I will, but. If I do, I do. Nah. Dragonfly wings and the buggy door. Now I can make this. Can make this. Yep, look, got it from that. Okay, but we are actually going. Of course, I'm not a clay. Um, I do want to get another needle. There's that, like, group of three I may be able to get from at least two of. Silver bullet. That makes the orb. Okay. Orb made. Silver fox fur. Okay. I need a puzzle box. I know how to get those. I have to go kill the babies. It's okay. The baby mushrooms. Okay. We're gonna run down to the forest. Go to the one of the circles where all the fairies are. Probably just you know catch some fairies for the fuck. Like, who cares? Catch the fairies. And then. I'll go and I'll start killing the baby mushrooms. The 
kid with the frogs are gone. I don't know if I should be concerned about that. Mushroom children are over here. Hmm. Next fairy circle. I'm also just gonna get the stringy strings. Doesn't help. Mm. We all don't have mushroom children. It's the mountain, which I can go get the silver pox from. Oh, I know. I know. You'll get all salty if I get near. I think that does say- mm, wrong button. It does say that- oh, this puzzle box ingredient. The forest. Like, it's from the little mushroom guys that go like all cute and go like, hee hee hee, like, I'm running away. Like, what? They weren't there though, like, It's like they're gone. I guess I'll go to the fields because, like, they're just gone. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> this is where I just aimlessly wander around until I can find another fairy spot. Because I know there's one down here. I thought it was over on this side. It is on that side. Should I not have started off with the Rumpelstiltskin mission? Like... It's also like in one of the fields. I go to like the cabbage field. I think one of them kind of. Yep, those guys. Okay, puzzle box. 
Which then I have that. I just now need to go to the thing. Okay. The other thing I need is this new recipe, which is probably gonna be the hardest thing to make. Which cinder box and red feather. Well, okay, that's just gonna need some snap traps. Which we'll get like three of them. Okay. This for the red feather. The cinder box. Done. So now a lot of what we need is. Ugh. A lot of what we need is in the mountains, which we can. We can do that. That's that's doable. I'm gonna assume, yeah, snap trap. Go party. I got both. Go, pretty go. Go, pretty go. Pretty dead. Okay. Now I gotta find the silver fox. I do want these. Frozen treat, mm. which I believe it takes. Uh, which I need the mushrooms from the forest. Nah. All my resources are looking very scarce, and I'm kind of like, maybe I should have stockpiled way earlier. <laughs> because I'm like, I'm having to run back here for like. Stage one resources. And I don't know if this is just my brain going like the game's getting more difficult, or like if res like resources are spawning a little less. <laughs> Cause like I could have sworn there used to be like a log here. There used to be like a bunch of logs, right? And now there's only like two. So like I don't I don't know what's happening. Which I mean with as much resources as I've used, I guess it kinda makes sense that stuff would start depleting, but it's just kinda like You wait until now. Cause like, I could have sworn there used to be a log like that is down here too. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm just kind of like overthinking it. I need a snowflake, which I need a snow snare for, which it does look like I can make. I'm just gonna have to replace out the puzzle box. Because I think I need to go get that little snowman guy first, and he'll give me a snowflake, which I then can use to get the wolf.
Okay. Uh, there we go. We got this. We got this. We can make a silver bullet. Fantastic. Let's go take it back to the huntsman. Which is in the village. Village. That's the market. No, it's the village. Market's north. Okay. <sighs> mm, there's silver bullet, dude. This is perfect. The wolf won't know what hit him. I'll meet you at the dark wood and we'll put an end to this terror once and for all. With a bullet and blunderbuss in hand, the huntsman jogs off down the road towards the swamp. I sure hope he finds his bravery along the way. Or it won't matter what sort of slug he's slinging. Okay. I guess we're going to the swamp. So I think this is going to be like that one area here that I've not been able to get into. Yep, because look, it's now unblocked. Into the dark wood. You find yourself looking down the gaping mouth of a gun muzzle. <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself! Don't you point that thing at me. Oh, yes ma'am. Sorry ma'am. It's just so darn dark here. I can hardly see my own shadow. Why do you think they call it the dark wood? Keep your head on your shoulders, lad. We've got a big bad wolf to bring down. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally not afraid of this seven foot tall killer who makes his home in a forest of as black as night. You need to concentrate on the task at hand. We only have one silver bullet. And if the wolf catches even the smallest whiff of our plan, it's curtains for us. <laughs> no, no pressure. So what exactly is the plan? The wolf is waiting in his cabin. I'll sneak up and lure him to you with my puppet. Just as I did before at the tavern. Meanwhile, you'll be in a good hiding spot and ready your gun and this time i won't whip out i've got the silver bullet so uh do you know which way the wolf's cabin i can't really make out a path or anything let me worry about that you just get yourself ready and remember don't miss oh no You squeeze through the gaps of the trees and dunk under claw-like branches, but you've somehow managed to end up right where you started. Bah, I'll never make head nor tail of these pathways. Perhaps I should ask someone with a bird's eye's view. A keen eye owl inspects you from his roost. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, who, who do you two? I wonder what, it's, what it is you're trying to say. You got me now? Ha ha! Lexicon. Ah, uh, I made one. I needed one more. Of that. Oh. Okay. Controller. Controller. Be nice to me today, please. At least have all the blood that I need. Um. So I need to go back to the mountain to get that feather. The cat thing is a craftable. Which. I need to go get a pigeon. I need a lot of snare traps. Mm. We're just gonna go ahead and make all of these for snow traps. Okay, so we need one bird from the forest. I need pigeons. I need, I need like a pigeon from the village. I need a crow. Is the crow in the village, or is he in the- One of them's in the market, one of them's in the village. I can't remember. First thing I know, we're going here. We're going here, we're going to the mountain. 
Because apparently you need like a hundred feathers. Just to do this. Thank you. Okay. So. Go back to the Luxcon. I need the cat thing. That's the only other thing I need to make here. Is this cat thing, which is over here. Which I need that. I know where to get that. The pigeon beak and the pigeon feather. Oh, the blue feathers. Okay, so we need to go to the forest. Forest is easy, and then we'll go do the pigeon, and then the... I need to make another skeleton key, which I think I... I can make a... Oh, I can make a skeleton key. Fantastic. Okay, go to the forest. We go get some bluebirds. I need two bluebirds. Oh, well, that one's gonna get eaten by him. Great. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Bluey. All the meat. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the village. Get me. Is this a mimic? That's not a mimic. The only chest in this whole thing that's not a mimic. Okay, I am going to need more of these. 100%. Well, let's go ahead. If I do this now, I can get my pigeon beak, I think. Yep, pigeon beak, done. I now just need to find me a mimic. Oh yeah, the partying sheep who are still partying. No, the dogs. There's a cat. Rainbow black sheep, love it, yeah. I killed a mimic, guys. Okay. Now I can make the cat toy. So I can make this lexicon thing. So I can go back to the swamp and talk to the owl. The rainbow sheep, though, are... It's like they discovered color and left their... Evil... Ram. Who was all like, you must conform. Color is evil. <laughs> the Dark Souls. <laughs> Show the trick to DJ. <laughs> I should. He says he wants to watch it, but like, he it doesn't ever work out with his schedule, which I kind of do on purpose. Uh, which, even though I'm gonna hate plugging myself, I have them all uploaded to YouTube, so that way he can go back and watch things as he so chooses. <laughs> It's the main reason for the YouTube. <laughs> because if anybody's missed any episodes, they can also go to the YouTube channel and find them. DJM has a link to it somewhere in a command. I don't know what the command is, so. Already following you. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I think I have like two subscribers or something, so, <laughs> or three. And uh, here, let me go find it. I have to go to Nightbot. Uh, I didn't have to edit any of my commands today because I just used the same stuff I've been using. Um, it's just YT. 
so I'm gonna have to pass. Cause he's a sneaky bitch. Yeah, you got it. Cool. He he ended up being the extra sneaky. I should probably set that up as a legitimate thing, but like a timer, but we'll see. Translate. You wave your ling linguistic scroll at the owl, magical quill at the ready. Well, speak up! Hoo! 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 The quill scribbles across the parchment of its own accord. What's up with him now? <laughs> Translating the owl's hoots into something more un understandable. Walk warily, na naive neighbor. Exploration seldom escapes notice. What the does what the does that even mean? I thought ours are supposed to be wise. Expiration seldom. Yeah, and back drat. I need to find a path through the trees and those cardinal directions hidden in the owl's riddle. West, west, north, north. East, south, east, north. Oh my god, I'm writing this down. West, west, north, north, east, south, east, north. Okay. North, south, east, west. Okay, so west... West... North. Uh, north. East. South. East. North. That must be the wolf's cabin up ahead. He's expecting Little Red to come a knocking, so I need to use a puppet to lure him into the huntsman's ambush. You puppet the red-hooded doll to the do You puppet the red-hooded doll to the door of the wolf's rickety cabin. An evil light glows from within, casting eerie shadow over on the ground. You lift the puppet's head to peep through the window, spotting chewed bones and torn rags littering the floor, but no sign of the wolf. Suddenly, yellow eyes stab out of the shadows. There you are, my delectable little pork chop. I was beginning to think you had forgotten about me. Through the strings of the puppet, a chill runs down your spine, as your animal instinct can't help but scream one thing. Run. Ah! Preferring to hunt under the cover of darkness, the wolf pauses to snuff out the glimmering wisp. You need to u you'll need to use th these wisps to your a to your advantage if you hope to outrun the wolf. I Wolf claws close around the puppet, and he ornates his jaw to swallow it whole. Before he can snatch up the doll with his teeth, in his teeth, you yank your invisible strings, pulling the puppet out of his grasp and back into your hiding spot. Drat. I need to start over again. <laughs> He's fast, but the wisp light might be enough to distract him. Okay, how? This is gonna be rough. Oh, I have to find the. Okay, this is gonna be so hard. Oh 
Oh, apparently, never mind. I lied. It's not going to be that hard. I don't even know where he's at. At your command, the puppet comes to a halt at the center of the moonlit clearing. The wolf bursts out of the shadows, gripping, gripped by ferocious rage. Ha ha ha, there's no place left to hide, little piggy. You're mine now. All mine. Bearing his fangs, the wolf pounces into the air with tremendous force. The sound of thunder roars loudly from across the clearing. Crows scatter into the night air, and the dark wood falls silent. Blinking in disbelief, the wolf staggers to a stop. He glances down at his chest, where a crimson spot blossoms onto his vest. The huntsman reveals himself from the bushes, holding his smoking weapon anxiously. Y you sh shot me! The beast crashes to the ground, exhaling his final breath, his glassy eyes transfixed on the full moon high above. Hesitantly, the huntsman, huntsman boggles at the wolf before a triumphant grin crosses his face. I did it! I actually did it! I defeated the wolf! Don't forget that you had some help, kid. This villain won't hurt any longer, hunt any longer, and that's really what matters. Come on, controller. Be nice. There we go. As the huntsman strikes a courageous pose atop his trophy, something pearly white falls from the wolf's mouth. You pick up the glistening fang, broken by the wolf's fall. From the deep inside the bloody tooth, you can faintly hear the whimpering of a dog, the soul of the wolf. <laughs> Ooh, that's that chapter done. Coolio, we only got two more left. I think we're going to do the hogs next, just because... Yeah. You're a hero. <laughs> okay, okay. So, we did that. I think that was the closest thing we've come to a boss fight this entire time, though. So that's kind of... That was kind of cool. We're gonna do the hog, and then we'll do the stag. Cause I don't know, something about the stag makes me want to do that one last. But, we're on the way. Okay, so we need to go to the market. Cause the piggies are in the market. I wonder if you found his roast beef. Okay. Not that button. This button. Okay, just north. Arms, arms for the paw. Clinging to a raggedy shawl, the old panhandler holds a tin cup with trembling hands. Arms for the paw! You bow your head respectfully to the aged fellow, dropping a coin. Dropping in a coin into his cup. From under his ratty hood, the man gleams silver-toothed grin at you. Thank you, kind miss. A penny for your thoughts, old-timer? I'm afraid my thoughts are a little muddy as of late. Can't seem to recall what day it is or when the last time I ate was. Last I remember, I was working at the old hog farm with the other unfor unfortunates. Not quite sure how I ended up back on the streets. I found more than a... F more than a few memories had dawned me as well. Say, I must have left a few of my things behind at the farm, misplaced my boot, and, well, I can't remember what else. I don't suppose you'd do me the kindness of taking a look around that place for me. I'm not as spry as I used to be. At the hog farm, you say? I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Maybe they're not. Maybe they have a lost and found. Bless your heart, I do remember that you'll need permission to get through the gates. Those hog sisters run a tight snip ship. You'll have to go talk to the big hog who runs the butcher shop here in the market. She'll set you up with 
Oh, it works. I can't talk today. Okay. Get the stuff off my screen. There we go. Okay, the butcher shop is actually right here. Ch chopping block. Oh my god. Okay. Ew! Ew! Do you all know what a refrigerator is? Probably not. Ooh, poisoned meat already. Gosh, yeah. Nice. Chopping through a hock of meat with a gigantic cleaver, the surly looking swine merely grunts at you when you approach. Excuse me, I heard that you were the one to talk to about getting a work slip. That's what they. That's what you heard? Well, you heard wrong. We got enough good for nothing workers. Now buzz off! You glance at the halo of flies buzzing around the pig's scalp. Listen, there must be some way to get a slip. Well, I'm running low on ingredients to make the summer sausage, and none of these nincompoops can hold two thoughts in their heads. Tell you what, you give me the things I need, I'll give you your precious work slip. Roast beef. You get two more eggs. I need some skipper scales. Okay. The roast beast. The pig makes summer sausage. Apparently. Dude, it's cannibalism pigs. Oh. I mean, it, I am playing the game. You know, like, you should expect this, Corey. Cannibalism was going to pop up at some point. Oh. That's that. Okay. You know, you've... <laughs> I need to find my portals so I can go run to the docks. There it is. Cause I ca all I gotta do is catch one of those fish, and then I got that. Docks is this one? Yep. As for the eggs, I think there's like. I probably can talk to s get something from the fields. There we go. I got that that I needed. Fantastic. I'm going to the fields. I think it said if I go, if I go back to like the Oxus farm, I think he had a few chickens, if I remember right. I don't look very happy. Cool, I got that. Now, what did I need? I need, oh, I need the embers. Which I can get those from the forest. It's a good place to get those. Or I go back to the village. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to the village. Not the docks, the village. Because the village has this. Get the dust sprites, because I always end up needing dust sprites for something. Okay. Make the roast beast. Okay, now let's go get the roast beast to the Mr. Oinkingson. The chopping block. That wasn't too bad. 
you go. Here's your roast beast. You pop the sweet-smelling hawk down into a relatively clean section of the countertop. The pig grunts in acknowledgement. Here's your eggs. You push the basket of eggs towards the hog. She holds each one up to a candle flame and oinks in apparent satisfaction. The skipper sails. Your fishy catch still flops about, gasping for water, but the hog puts a stop to that with her hefty cleaver. Head up to the market and go northeast and give this to my sis at the gate. The smell of hot The smell of hot dung ought to guide you to that spot. I can hardly contain myself. Well go contain yourself at the hog's farm for I lose my temper. She slaps a work slip down on the table. Good, I don't want to be in that... Ugh. I can only imagine how bad all that meat is. I'm gonna assume it's up this way. The pig farm, yep. Whoa there! No one gets into hog farm without a work slip. And if you want to work for us, you got to fit the demographic. And what demographic is that? The kind that don't ask so many stupid questions. There you go. Work slip or not? There's my work slip. You hand over the slip of paper and the hog squints at it with her piggy little eyes. Hmm. You don't look like you can lift a wheelbarrow, let alone last a good day's work. You're nothing but skin and bones. I've got the work slip, don't I? So let me in. Fine, fine. It's no bacon off my back if you find yourself face down in the mud after your old heart gives out. Oh my... Oh, it is literally a cannibalistic farm. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Search the pig farms for the beggar's belongings. This gaggle of workers appears to be squabbling over something. Hand it over, I saw it first. Fat chance, you've already got those leg wraps while I was- While I'm still going barefoot, give it here! You see the object of their con contention, a dirty old boot. Ah, that must be my friend's forgotten piece of footwear. The workers ignore you and continue fighting over their pathetic prize. Elf shoes and growth potion. Okay. Well, I can make digestive tablets. I'm gonna make that because apparently I need that. Okay, where's the growth potion? What do I need for that? I need this. I knew I grabbed two for a reason. I need the big health, health potion. Which I can make. Okay. And I just gotta get the elf shoes. Which I believe- Ooh, not wrong button. I need shiny lures for- I'm gonna need like three of them. Cool. That's to get that. This slop trough is overflowing with filth, like something is clogging the drain hole. A th thorough cleaning should dislodge the obstacle. Purification water? I need three things of water and ghosty exoplasm. Okay. Okay. Let's get the elf shoes. There's one. I need another elf. I know there's a few in the village as well. Mm 
I might just have to go to the village and get it. Mr. Elfies. <laughs> There's my three elf shoes. Fantastic. Now, what did I freaking need for this again? Oh, I need three jars of water and some ghosty exoplasm. Which, I need to make the jars. Oh, I need more. Oh my god. It's, I swear, it's either I don't have the clay or I don't have the cinder stuff. Yeah, 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 you stupid mimic. There's the rainbow sheep. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about catching him. I need like one more piece of clay. Only one. Which I should be able to get from these. I don't want you. Okay. Can I get water from this well? I can! Fantabulous. Okay, now I do need to go run to the graveyard. I think. Mm, wait a minute. Inventory. I'm gonna need this. Because I think. I think it's on. I use it on the hands. I could be wrong, but I, so I think I gotta use it. It's on the little, like, ghost of hands that are like, give me the grabbies! Where's my portal? Down here. <sighs> we go to the graveyard. I need to use it on like her soothing room. I'm gonna have to make more. <laughs> I have unveiling powder. Need more of that. Where's the evil ghosty do thing? That thing. Exorcism charm. Let's see if I can get it from you without wasting a whole, whole lot of stuff. Go. Oh. 
controller do what I need. Aha, it's him! Okay, I know there is a water thing, like up here. Yep. Purification water. I can't remember where this attaches to, but we're gonna see. Village, okay. Which? I really love working, but uh, I have the Yannis today. My god. Because I can't remember the exact path to the market. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to like the big pig that's just like laying on the ground. And I wanna see what it says about him. Because like, okay, he needs digestive tablets. Why does he need digestive tablets? Oh no, he looked no good. This particular pig looks a bit green in the face. And the odorous emanating from it are somehow even worse than the local book. What's the matter, Hamlet? Did you eat something you di that didn't agree with you? Some stomach medicine ought to sort you out. Oh, because he's just not feeling good. Yeah, no. Bitch. Not the pickiest eater. The sick swine eagerly gobbles up the antacid. You offer it. You hear a bubbling sound coming from the pig's stomach and decide it's best to advert your eyes from the horrors of the natural process. When you look back, the pig has fallen asleep in the mud, looking much happier with the state of its state of being. You turn your attention to the aftermath and gawk at the obvious cause of the beast's indigestion. The bone? questionable bone. I'm so happy I have that. You flush out the disgusting container, eventually getting the root getting to the root of the drainage problem. Hmm, that's odd. I doubt any of the pigs around here have have had much dental work done. The workers ignore it. Okay, here's the elf shoes. You put down the m minuscule slippers. These won't be big enough for anybody. And here's the growth potion. You pop the cork in the on the growth potion. You sprinkle a couple careful measured drops of the growth potion onto the tiny shoes. They make a sound like popcorn and burst into a size much more accommodating to the human feet. The bickering workers look over at the source of the noise and their eyes go wide. Hey! Look! Are those new shoes? Dropping the old boot in the mud, they rush over to try on the new footwear. Check it out! They've got jangling bells on the toes! Take the boot. You sort through the collection of objects you've acquired. A silver tooth, a human bone, and a chewed boot. I'm not sure what happened in this horrible place. But I've got a suspicion that old beggar may have lost more than just his memories here. I better go see him. He'll be missing his boot at the very least. Oh no. Just a reminder, chat. Trigger warning. <laughs> because this is gonna get very dark very quickly. <laughs> No, let me talk to you. Ah, you've returned. Did you have any luck finding my, uh... What was it I lost again? Your pla you place the collected remains in front of the man. Do any of these look familiar to you? Oh, that's my favorite boot! I was wondering where that got off to, but... What are these? The man runs his fingers over the bone and silver tooth with creepy, 
creepy realization crossing his face. His skin begins to take on an ephemeral pallor. Oh. Uh, am I dead? It would certainly appear that way. Don't feel too bad. These sort of things have a way of sneaking up on us. But I, I remember now. I was up at the hog farm, but I was too old, too weak to work. The sisters, they said I was useless. They threw me in the feed, in the feed trough. And then, all those hungry pigs. Oh no, no. How could they do this to me? Oh my god. All my life I was starving. I had to beg for table scraps. And they fed me to the pigs! I'm very sorry things ended this way. We ought to hold a feast to honor your life properly. <laughs> no! A feast? I've never had a feast. Where would we get the food? And who would come? Everyone I know is slaving away for those horrible sows. You, glance at the <laughs> you cast a glance at the nearby command communal cooking pit. I think I have a solution to both of those problems. Don't you worry. I'll make sure you have a meal to remember. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's this communal cooking pot. Please. Where, where is this? I don't know where this is. It's up here. Okay. <laughs> no. This, oh, it's, it's like right here. Is this it? This pit has seen a fair share of community cookouts. Though it isn't in the best shape, it will be enough for what you have in mind. Now then, what should be on the menu? You clap your hands together hungrily. I think pork would be most appropriate. Yeah, I saw that. First, I'll have to fashion the proper container. A feast need not be a f be flesh and blood if, you, if the spirit is hungry. A porcelain effigy. Ah. Okay, I need to make this, which I need that stuff. Okay. I need four of those which I can make in this pink thing. Oh look, I can make ex two of those. I need more wood. Okay, I need this. I need the little shaky doll, and I need on the skulls, which I can get. Oh my god. <laughs> I need more pots! <laughs> I need a sewing kit. Let's make that. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go get some pots and grassy stuff. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the forest. Oh god. <laughs> this game. This game. Okay. I definitely need more wood. <laughs> We're gonna go jump down the well quickly. Whew. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of clay from the well. Good thing for you, Froggy. I don't need you. Oh. I need that. Okay. Of that stuff, just because why not? Fantastic. I still haven't been able to get in here. This is so locked. Like, I don't.
I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I now need to also get these. So we do need to head down to the fields at the very least because I need. Let me see. Can I make pots? Can I even make them? Oh, I don't have any cinder shit. Cinder stuff. Looks like there's one here. I was given this poison meat. We'll use that quickly to um not here, it's here. The dog. Also get some dog fur, but This way I can get some of the cinder. Just because the dog fur is good to just have. Anyway. Another two of these. There we go. I got that. So literally, I need the dough, which I need five grain. Okay, yeah. So we're we're gonna go run down to the fields and get the grain. I can get the eggs, and I can get the milk. should have plenty of grain. We now need the milk and the eggs. It's a gnome. Hi gnome. Okay. Go down to the ox's farm, go talk to his chickens. I think maybe if I like leave and come back, maybe I'll just be able to get all the chicken eggs that I need. Cause like obviously I can't get them in it right now. That's all the eggs for now. So what if I like leave and then come back? Cause I think I needed three eggs. Let me double check on that though. I needed three eggs. Let's see. Yep. I'm just gonna grab this other one because I'm down here. Okay, now I can make the dough. Fantastic. Now literally the only thing we gotta worry about is this weird effigy thing, which I need to go to the graveyard to... and then get the thing for... Because I can't remember what it takes. I think it's spirit salts. If, which of it's spirit salts. Embalming salts. Which if I go to the docks. We'll go run to the docks real quick. It's right here. And we'll go run to the docks. And dig up some of those sand piles. Apparently we're not gonna go to the docks, we're gonna go straight to the graveyard. Might as well since I'm gonna be here, get a double check. I guess <laughs> I do not mean to come here. Yep, yeah, spirit salts. The docks or is this one? Okay. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna want my shovel thing. It's, it's not gonna give me them freely now, is it? Uh, there we go. No, I can make that. You got my spirit salts. Fish run away. Let's go. I'm like down out of string, so. Okay, to the graveyard. Now I'm ready to go to the graveyard. Let's see if I can get two of them again though with one go. That was how much would I make this? Which I need the effigy. Got the porcelain piggy. Go back to the market. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. Whew. As they should have, because now they're gonna become a feast. Here's the effigy. You set the tiny false creature amongst the ashes of the cooking pit. It wriggles and squeals with impotent hunger. Now, to fatten up this little piggy, I'll start with the smallest pig sister. But, I need to collect something special to find her spirit. A small pig switch? How does... How do I get a small pig switch? There's a small pig at the small at the pig farm. Okay. It's probably gonna be I have to like, you know, witch eye it and stuff. That's the tall pig. Oh. You can hear the runty swine squealing even before you see her, holding her crop high. She busies herself, um, admonishing the cluster of four workers. I ought to feed your useless rumps to the meat grinder, you filthy mongrels! Do we pay you to work or to sleep? They recoil from their taskmaster slashes. You don't pay us at all! Say there, you seem to have gotten an awful lot of use from that grotty old switch. What would you say to a trade? What? A trade? I've had this whipper ever since I was a wee suckling. No way, no how am I going to give up be am I giving up my precious little flog? A lash master two thousand <sighs> I need another rat tail. I need one more of those and I need that. I can't remember what it, I think. Was it that I needed a rattle doll? Dreadful doll? Okay. I can't remember what I needed to get to the rats either. I don't think I've ever had to get a rat. Besides the rat. Um. You know. Oh. I don't think they're here. I think they're in the. They're in the village, they're not in the market. Mm -hmm. Do, 
Okay. Oh, controller. No. Controller, there we go. Snap trap. Which... I need wood, which I don't have any. Ah! Usually wood is like the one thing I always have. Okay, so we're gonna go run to the forest, go get some wood. Make a few snap traps. You get wood rat tail. have that for the rat tail. I'm gonna go actually shift over it. We're gonna go look at what the pumpkins need again for me to get them because I can't remember. Because I know it's something that's like kind of annoying to get but also I think it could be a lot worse. Evil turkeys. Snag vine. Which I need this. Which I need to go get one of the other things anyway. Controller, be nice. Okay. Sure. I got that, which I needed. So the rat tail, and then it was two of these, which I need smoke bombs for. Which I need froggies and clay. I think, and I can get clay around here as well. At least a little bit of it. Please. I'm gonna need two of those, so I need three more pieces of clay, at least. Uh, stuff. Mm, or else I'm gonna get this because I will end up needing it later. Okay. Let's... Let's head over... The swamp. Wait, what else do I need to make these? Yeah, let's head over to the swamp. The swamp has like everything I need. And I might be able to get lucky and get two and one. Which is what I'm gonna try and do. Unless, do I have. I don't think I have a I don't have a I don't know. Okay. Come here, frog. I need you. But there's also like... It's like if I go north here, there's like a million frogs.
Okay. Get one of these. I'm gonna go this way because we're like the ones that are like super close, just all the time are. If I'm extra lucky, I'll get three. Which I am super lucky today! It's literally, you know, I just need the rat tails, which won't be too bad. I just, well, I'm gonna have to uncover them and then... Okay. We can do this, this is bearable. The Alliance. I'm gonna find a rat nest. Hopefully that's not near Mimic. Rat nest! to the pig. <sighs> Which? I'm gonna have to get the cleaver probably from the other one. I don't know what I'm gonna have to get from this, like, the tall pig. Oh, his club. Um, here. Lash Master. Is, is that the Lash Master 2000 with extra stinging barbs and raw hide non slip grip? The one and only. I thought you were doing such an excellent job keeping these poor, exploited souls under your hoof. You deserved a reward. She snatched the whip out of your hand with glee, tossing her old straw lash in the mud without a second glance. Not even saying thank you, she scampers off to test out her newly acquired motivational tool on unsuspecting farm workers. Oh my god. Okay. Return to the cooking pit. Yep. I like I'm the only one that has like a work permit, but I'm allowed to walk in and out. Mm, there's a switch. You feed the ratty straw whip into the mouth of the porcelain effigy. Despite the thing not having any teeth, you distinctly hear the sound of crunching as it chews up its first meal. The effigy shudders and swells in size, becoming a healthy sized piglet made of straw. One down, two to go. For the feast to go off without a hitch, I'll need to gather something important from that swinish middle sister. Okay, Tall Pigs Club. Hey, you, you're the one who gave my little sister that souped up whipper, ain't you? Well, I do twice as much work as that stinking twerp. This old beaten stick has served me well these long years, but if she gets an upgrade, then why shouldn't I? The Magnum Brow Beater? Oh my god. Honestly, this might be one of the easiest ones to make. Thank god I got that dog hair real early. You're right! Here it is! It's already done! Fuck. 
Ah, uh, here we go. The sow takes a few test swings with her new cudgel, making you duck for safety. Aha! Now that's more like it. Solid build. Perfect balance. You won't be needing that cracked old stick anymore. I'll just take that off your hands. Huh? Sure, whatever. It's as good as a firewood now. She ignores you and goes looking for pine cones or small animals to take swings at. I'm so glad that was like stupidly easy. Just like, here you go! Okay. Next butcher knife. You chop up this well weathered cudgel into bite sized pieces and offer them to the small effigy. It wastes no time gobbling up the bits of wood and crunching them into splinters. Controller! Please! Thank you. Game now read controller. Satisfied with its second meal of sticks, the simulated pig rumbles and once again grows in size. This ham is almost ready for dinner. It just needs one more helping of soul food. Something special from that brutish butcher will be the last ingredient I need. Pigs- the big pig's whetstone? Really? I really thought it was gonna be the the butcher block, like the butcher knife. But you see the enormous swine hacking apart a hunch of meat with a cleaver. Its dull and chipped blade has clearly seen better days. She sneezes a hev heavily before wiping a glob of snot with the back of her hand. <coughs> you again? What'd you want now? As your dutiful employee. I have been taking it upon myself to improve your meat business. That whetstone of yours looks like it's not doing a great job of keeping your tools sharp. She raises an eyebrow at the worn slab of grindstone sitting on the countertop. Huh, I suppose it might be time to replace you, old girl. Just thinking of how much more brutal you could be with a brand new sharpener. Magi Sharp XL. Oh my god, how do I make that? I need this. I need a gnome hat! I need a puzzle box. And a what? Oh, I need to go get the turkeys, I think. Okay, puzzle box though. I need to go kill the things. I need two nails. The nails I get here. Which I might need to make a skeleton key. Well, let's go, if I go check the blacksmith, gnome hat, yes, I have to go kill a gnome with a puzzle box. I feel like it just, like, encaptures the gnome's essence so well. Okay, going in here. So sorry, Zonis, that I have to murder gnomes, but you know. You know how it goes. It's not your gnome, I think. Think of it as me destroying the competition. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Okay, I do need to make a skeleton key so I can go destroy a mimic. See, see, I knew you'd see reason. Uh, mimics are down in the village. Okay. I believe it's this way. Oh no, Mimic's right here. Hey, buddy. Give me an I need your giant stove. Fantastic, but I also got nails. Which is what I really needed. Um, okay, so. I got the nails. What else did I need? Oh, I need a rabbit's foot. Shit. So that means I needed one more of these, which means I need more wood. Fuck, okay. So we're just we're gonna go to 
there's one lane right here. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna run to the... There's another one. Oh my god, the rooms are everywhere now. But they were always there and I'm just blind as bat. We're gonna go to the fields though. So I can get the green thingies. And then there's sometimes there's some wood strewn about, so... Also, because I don't think I have any more of those. I'm gonna get them. Ah, there's victim number one. Victim number two. Fantastic. Okay. Now, see if I can find any wood laying about. I need two pieces. That is it. I might just have to go... Okay, what else did I need? So there's the puzzle box. Let me go get a gnome. Maybe I'm finding a gnome, I'll find a piece of wood. I think they're to the right. Oh, I also gotta figure out how to get a turkey. Digestive pills. I need two, so I'm gonna have to go to the swamp. Oh look, see a piece of wood. Two pieces of wood. Fantabulous. So I just need the rabbit's foot for that. Which I have this now. So I can make this. Fantastic. I need one more newt eye. I have newt. What should you go to the swamp for? To get another turkey guzzard. Okay. So we're gonna head to the swamp. <laughs> I'm gonna get two more of these because I have been eating a lot of those. Controller! <laughs> Yeah. I want to I wanna to go to the swamp so I can get the eye of newt. So I can make another digestive pill. Which I need. And then I think I need a bait stick. I don't want you to get ant. It's fantastic. Okay. I get the eye of newt, which means I can make another one of these. Which means I can go run back to the field so I can get another turkey. Get one of another turkey gizzards. Which I know there's some north. Don't tell burbs that I'm killing turkeys. They get very salty about the burb attacks. These are mean ones. That's my logic behind this. They're mean. I think that was all I needed was two. Yep. 
I just need that, which I need to right. Ah! See, look, they attacked me! <laughs> no! Okay, anyway, we're gonna go to the mountain so I can get a bunny and kill a bunny. Done and easy. Just like that. What? I need a fucking piece of cobblestone. Are you serious? <sighs> well, we can go. We can go to the market for that. God damn it. It's like I need one piece of cobblestone. <laughs> Give me a couple sweat. There we go. Okay. The chopping block. Hmm. The sow slowly grinds the blade of her cleaver across the new whetstone, sending flecks of rust flying. She plucks a hair from her own chin and tests the keenness of the edge by splitting it in half. Ho ho, not bad at all. Go on, take this old stone and throw it in the trash bin. Oh, wow, wow, wow. No, oh, my effigy's up here. This ham is almost ready for dinner. It just needs one more helping of soul food. Something special from that brutish rudger. You toss the old brick into the effigy's ravenous maw, and it cracks it into dust within moments. With its final meal of bricks, the porcelain sim simulacrum swells to monstrous proportions. A rattling laugh chills your blood as the old man's spirit looks upon your work. Ha ha! What a proper beggar feast this is! I think that- I thank you for the kind gesture, but I still don't see how this will bring justice to those wretched swine. Just you wait. I have to fire- I have to fire up the barbecue first. Cinderbox. Which I can make! Yes! Can you control her? You chose, you chose now to be mean. I was all excited. I was like, we're gonna burn it, burn it, burn it. Striking a spark into the pit, you set the tinder alight. You s take a step back, watching the orange flames leap high into the air. The porcelain effigy blackens as you tend to the fire and fuss over the coals. A succulent aroma begins to waft on the wind. The old man licks his translucent lips hungrily. I swear I can almost smell a delicious roast! Ah, if only it were real! Over the sound of crackling logs, you hear a crowd of footsteps come paddling down on the road towards the cooking pit. Over here I knew I smelled something good! The others, my friends, you've come back! A, a ghost! No! Wait, it, it, is that the old man McGall? Say, it ain't t so old timer. When you never showed up for the morning head count, we all feared the worst. It's true. I ended up as pig food. Can you believe that? I worried you would all face the same fate as me. However, did you escape the hog farm? It was the strangest thing. The swine sister started complaining about the weather being too hot. Even though it's pretty chilly, if you ask me. All of a sudden, they bolted out into the woods, squealing all the way. Left the gate wide open and everything. Then we smelled something delightful in the breeze and couldn't resist. So it's been so long since we've had anything other than pig slop. Gosh, that smells so good. Is it barbecue? Where did you get all that food? <laughs> Oh, I think it's best if you didn't ask. 
place that the brick sticks and straw, the porcelain effigy has split into a mountain of delectable sw sizzling meats. Ham! Sausage! Bacon! It all looks so delicious! What a wonder! It truly is a feast! Thank you! What did I tell you? Enjoy yourself for a little while longer and be at peace. The starving crowd happily helps themselves to the feast, cheering, laughing, and praising the old ghost's name. You see something twinkle amongst the cooling coals of the cooking pit. Warm to the touch, you pick out a piece of the greasy gr gristle from the so soot. On closer inspection, it appears to be three separate chunks. One fat piece, one long piece, and one small piece. The souls of the pigs. <laughs> okay, okay. It didn't do like a whole, oh, you completed the chapter. Oh. Okay. We're going to go see about the stag. It goes this way. I need to go to the center. This isn't the village. This is the market. So we're going to go travel to the mountains, children. We have one more soul to catch. And then we get to figure out what's going on with the maiden. Let's go. Can I finish this with an hour? We'll see. Um, I need this because I need to see where they want me to go. Middle. Down in middle. Stay back, spirit. I have nothing you want. Keep your wits about you, boy. I'm just an old woman. Oh, so you are. My apologies. One can never be too careful traveling around the mountainside. Plenty of tricksters like to disguise themselves and play pranks on me. I meant no disrespect. None taken. What are you doing out in the cold anyway? I've come to collect iceberries for my brother's coronation. He's going to be crowned king of the whole realm today. King? According to whom? Uh, well, according to him, I suppose. He is the eldest, after all. He says it's his destiny. Some days. I'm not sure, though. I feel like I should be doing more than just tending to the castle's gardens. So he gets to be king, and you get to pick berries so your fingers fall off? It's not so bad. I like the crisp air and fresh snow. There's something magical about the wilderness. Ah, uh, but listen to me pr prattle on. I still need to collect the ice berries my brother requested. He's very particular when it comes to, well, anything really. A job shared is done twice as quickly. Let me help you before the frost bites. Why, thank you. I am getting a bit chilly. I only need a few more ice berries. Okay. That is the tracks. One, okay. You like finding these ice berries? Okay, I need four more. Look, it's berries. Now I need two more. Now I need no more. Hey look, wood. I have the ice berries. Coolio. Here's your ice berries. Ah, just look at the wonderful bounty you've gathered. He gladly takes the berries from you and places them in his pack. It was no problem at all. The stroll through the brisk air was quite refreshing. If only my brother cared as much for the beauty of this place. He's always been content staying amidst the nobles of his court. I should like to meet this brother of yours. He sounds like quite the ruler. Well, why didn't you say so? I'd be happy to invite you into the castle. The buck slips his arm out towards you in gentlemanly fashion. You take it and your gnarled claws and nod. Let's be off then, shall we? The prince isn't accepting peasant complaints, scat, you old crow. How dare you speak to my guest with that tone? Apologies, sir. I, I, I didn't know she was your guest. Don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you disrespected. R right, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, miss. What I meant to say was, uh, welcome to the court of the magnificent, magnificent and benevolent stag. Louder and with more pomp, please. I hereby welcome thee, Lady of uh, the um, the Swamp. Lady of the Swamp, to celebrate with us on the most 
auspicious day of bequeathing of the kingdom to he, he whose antlers reach the his thermos clouds and shine with justice and that will do just fine. Carry on guarding. R right. The buck turns to you and nods to his pack. I've got to prepare these berries for the ceremony and do some final pruning in the hedge maze. I'll meet you inside. Oh god, this is gonna be... This will be interesting. Well, guys, are we ready to kill a king? Sitting upon a lofty throne, the prince looms over his court nobles. Not too many tiny cakes! They can't outnumber the tots. And where is my useless brother with those berries? Everything must be perfect for my coronation. I think I saw him slink off to the garden, sire. No doubt shrieking his royal duties once again. And great. I do it. I do ever so much for that little rascal, and he doesn't even bother to show me the respect I deserve. Oh my god, you're an asshole. I should have had, had him ex exile long ago, if only he weren't my brother. <sighs> A fantastic idea, your grace. He will be shown the door as soon as the ceremony is concluded, I assure you. Ha! My days of sharing the throne with that dandelion are almost over. It is best he lives out his days on the mountain. Lord knows it's where he belongs. Stag's eyes near especially at the cluster of nobles. Speaking of my brother, have you three taken care of the statue in the hedge maze? Oh, uh, yes, your majesty. Just as you requested. Don't worry. Don't you worry yourself, my lord. The nobles exchange hurried whispers, but you can't hear them clearly. I wonder what all the fuss has to do with the me measly statue. Something doesn't feel right. Perhaps I ought to take a look at it for myself. Okay, so we gotta go find the hedge maze. Maze. Oh look, hedge maze. I have a feeling the statue is of the brother. There's a chest there. Okay, not that one. <laughs> Take that. Hmm. These guys are not going to be my most favorite. There's him. At the foot of the marble statue is a cracked and weather-beaten plaque. We wipe stuff from the engraved slab and find that large chunks have been honed away from it. Only a few words are still legible. Stag. Rifle heir and ruler. Revealed. Hmm. The choice of words is quite convenient for our royal aspirant. I wonder what the rest of the story has to say about the matter. You pick a tuft of colorful fur, caught on the statue's raised hoof. It looks to be from a very expensive piece of clothing. The nobles of the court seem to have nothing but time on their hands. Perhaps some of them know the secrets of this statue. I have to find the plaque pieces. Interrogate the nobles of the court. Okay, cool. Oh my god. I can't wait to kill the king. I bet he's going to be fun because he won't get his crown because he doesn't deserve it. Interrogating nobles. <laughs> Who invited her? Truth serum? Oh, this is gonna be fun. What the heck is that? In the fields, crow's foot. Oh, okay. So, other words, I need more wood! <laughs> how, how many? I'm gonna assume I'm gonna need three batches of this stuff, right? So. I'm gonna need more unveiling powder. Okay, there's three unveiling powder. I'm gonna need more of those mushrooms. So, before I go and I leave 
to get the crow's feet and the wood that I need for the crow's feet. I'm gonna see if I can get these mushrooms because I have five I'm gonna need nine so I need four more continue please Oh, shoot. Okay, now I need three more. two more traps. Hmm. I gather extra, I don't care. Um. Okay, we're gonna go run to the forest now to go get wood. to get crow's feet from the fields. Okay. Then we run to the fields and I will go get crow to give them truth serum. I'm only gonna make one at a time, but I'll have all the ingredients, which will be half the battle. Now we may go back to the forest, or to the mountain of the forest. And we will start the interrogations. Because it's going to be a thing of, okay, they, um, it's gonna, it's 100% gonna be that the one that's being forced to do everything is the actual true heir to the throne and the rightful ruler, not him. And he's just being a dick about it, so he got rid of it because that's what he wants, blah blah blah, you know. One of those kind of stories. But, I, I want to know why... I wonder why the ro the royal noble people are all like. Well, he has to be it. <laughs> A noble woman snaps her fingers at you as you pass by. You there, freshen up my wine. Nodding politely, you dip your syringe into her glass and squeeze out a good amount of pure liquid. She sips it with her nose high in the air. There's a broken plaque in the hedge mage. What do you know about it? The plaque? It's the last time I held, helped I help out the stag. I'll tell you that much. 
He was whining about a prophecy or some such nonsense. Told me to get rid of a piece of that plaque for him. I tore my finest winter muff trying to get the, get to grisp with the damnable thing. So I left it under the big tree in the middle of the hedge maze. You snap your fingers at the noble woman. Makes a disappointed frown. She pulls up her collar in a huff and rejoins the party as if nothing had happened. You saw there a crack cracker with a sil with silver liver plate and drizzle some s something serum over it. Soon enough, a nobleman licks his lips and indulges himself. What do you know about the statue in the hedge maze? Nobleman scratches his chin absentmindedly. Oh, you mean the one the stag smashed up? I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but he told me to get rid of some chunk of marble. Terrible head thing. Anyway, I just left it behind one of those wooden benches in the maze. Did he really expect me to lug it all the way out of the castle? You snap your fingers and the noble immediately goes back to snacking as if nothing had happened. Oh, I'm so glad I have got enough to do three, because that would have been annoying. You stick your syringe into a plump macaroon and offer it up to the nearest nobleman on a silver platter. He pops it into his mouth without even looking at you. The broken plaque in the hedge maze. Would you happen to know anything about it? The noble's eyes flutter as he and they speak as if conversing with themselves. Can you believe the audacity of the stag? He broke it. He should have to been the one that disposed of the pieces. Well, I couldn't be bothered to do such a menial labor. Could you imagine? <laughs> so anyway, I just tossed my piece into the southeast corner of the maze. Next time, he should get some of, his, of the servants to do his dirty work. You snap your fingers at the noble. They sneer at you for a moment before returning to their wine as if nothing had happened. Fantastic! I love lazy rich people. <laughs> or I guess lazy royal people would be more accurate. Well, the bench, here we go. Just as, so just as described, a piece of the plaque seems to have been kicked under the bench as a forgotten. Buried beneath a heaping of snow, he finally ma managed to find a hunk of stone. Okay, now it's the tree at the center of the maze. Which I do believe our dear friend is near. Granted, I don't even know where the tree is. The center of the maze. blind I think that's the maze entrance at the center of the maze. Oh, this tree. Wedged under the tree's forking roots lies a jagged piece of stone. That looks like the last piece of the plaque. I'll have to reassemble them at the stag statue if I want to make sense of this. Plaque. 
you snap the broken chunks of marble back into place. Despite some marring on the surface, you can still read the pack quite clearly. The Buck and the Stag, a tale of two princes. Only one destined to be the rightful to be rightful their heir and ruler. The king will be revealed by the touch of the truest crystal flower. It looks like the stag is trying to cut his dear brother out of his birthright. I wonder what but what's the busyness in the business with the crystal flower? I cannot read today. Gosh. The buck howl the buck howls his way around the gar around a garden. Perhaps he'll have some idea. Flicking his ears, the young gardener puts his pruning shears down at your approach. Hello again. Lovely day for a walk in the hedge maze. Granted, you don't get lost. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about a crystal flower, would you? Crystal flowers? Why? They're very, very rare. They say they only grow in, the, in a cave at the highest peak of the mountain. According to legend, the, truest, the truth of one's heart is refracted at, in the fa- Ah! And the faucets of each frosted petal. Why do you ask? No reason. I just thought one might make a nice gift for your brother's big day. Hey, you're right. That's a brilliant idea. What better gift from the court's gardener than a beautiful crystal flower? Oh, but the trek up the mountain is perilous. I don't know if I have what it takes. Nonsense. I was heading up that way anyways. You just stay close behind. Really? You'd help me. Well, all right. What are we waiting for then? Meet me out by the slope so we'll get underway. <laughs> let's go, children! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I wonder. This makes me wonder that, like, does the nobles, like, are the nobles aware of the stag's, like, doings with it? Well, they, like, they obviously know it's his dirty work, but, like, I don't know. I just kind of wonder, like, what their standings are on with it. Because even if, like, the true birthright is revealed, right, if they're in with the stag, will they care? what this crystal rose does. You see the buck hiding beneath, behind the brush, anxiously watching something up ahead. What's the matter? Did you get cold feet already? Shh, they'll hear you. Look. Through the pine brats, you can ma make out figures moving across the snow. They're covered in warm pelts and carry sharp looking spears. The royal trappers. They keep my brother's court supplied with furs, but they've been out here for so long, they'll hunt anything that moves. It would be a shame if those antlers of yours ended up as someone's trophies. Wait here and let me deal with them. Ah, controller, stop. Be nice. Be nice. There we go. Alright, be careful. Ah, now I can walk up here. Oh, shoot. A touch of cold. I need that and that. Okay. This. I just need one of these. Which would I. The biggest thing I need is freaking water. Okay, that I can get. The other thing that I need is the snowflakes, which are that difficult to get. And this. Which I need a cinder box for. Make two center boxes. Okay, we gotta go get the pink fruit. <laughs> of which I'm gonna get grab two of. I mean, like, the difficult part of it was gonna come in something. Like, there was always gonna be an issue. I was like, okay, here's the one ingredient that you need that's kind of a bitch to get. Because there's like literally only one place I can get it from. <laughs> Picking up this wood. Mm. 
wood. Okay, now if I jump down the well and come out, I have a feeling he'll reset and then I can get it again. Which I also need some jars of water. So that works out perfect. <laughs> cool. Got it. Make one of those. Fantastic. Now I need the purified water. Which need this thing. Granted, this one wasn't that hard to make, but the first ones. I still have one recipe left that I haven't yet to figure out. And then I need to get the two snowflakes from those little snow creature things. <sighs> So those are next. So back to the mountains, though. Because I think those need... Wait a minute. I think those just... They need these. Which I need more stuff for. I need nails and... Going to the swamp because I need a skeleton key because the quickest way to get the nails is with the mimics. But I need unveiling powder to make that. So that way I can make this stuff so I can get the skull so I can make the skeleton keys, which I also need the bones. And I need nails. So we're just gonna have to luck hope we luck out and find a nail. Oh, I didn't get the bones. That was stupid of me. Which bones aren't necessarily difficult to find. It can just be a little annoying. Drake. Fruit. I want a bone. Thank you. Okay. And we're gonna go to the village. Kind of dig around. Hopefully I can find one. One nail that I can make a skeleton key and get like two nails. Probably won't be able to find one, you know, because that would make sense. I just need some nails. 
Please, please, sir. <laughs> now, haha. Find me a mech. I see, I'm trying to make that. I need two snowflakes. Okay, that was good call. Good call. I'm also gonna go ahead and do some snipper rules. Cause I am running low on these. Oh, no nails. Okay. Now let's head back up to the surface. Not the surface to the mountain because I can't talk. Controller needs to work and be nice. Okay. Now I need to find... <gasps> there is one. Okay. I got one. And I need one more. Hoping to everything that this is like one of those I make it once and it's kind of reusable. <laughs> mm. Or that works. You glance at the buck hiding safely behind a tree at the far side of the camp. Making a raven's call, you signal for him to join you. The buck picks his way through the frozen trappers. Are are they going to be okay? Uh huh. They might catch a case of the sniffles. Nothing a nice warm bowl of soup won't fix. Come along now. We're still a ways from the mountain peak. I think I know a way up. I'll meet you ahead. Come join me when you're ready. There's goats! And geysers. Before you stands a looming rock face. Not even the most determined climber could hope to scale it. I thought you said you knew a way up the, to the peak. Well, you see this is the great geyser. The air is cold enough. The water erupts from the freezes solid. I thought it might give us something to climb up. You look into the dry crater at the bottom of the sheer cliff. I don't see much erupting happening, happening down there. Uh, it's been dormant for a few seasons now. I kind of hoped we'd get lucky. I don't trust any luck that I don't make myself. 
You take a moment to ponder your situation and I, the small geyser nearby, frequently spewing steam up into the frosty air. Ah, crap. Let's go. I suppose these other water spouts all draw from the same underground source. I think you're right. They started popping up shortly after the Great Geyser fell silent. Then I wager if we plug them all up, we'll be able to make a big one blow its top again. Plug them with what? You turn your attention to the bleeding mountain goats digging for a lichen nearby. Those frosty beasts look about to be about the right diameter. Maybe I could co can coax some of them into position. <laughs> oh my god. What do you need to do that? A goat perch? How do we make a goat perch? I need a shiny lure, the milk thing, and cobblestone. I need eight cobblestone per thing. I need three of these. Oh my god. Okay. The shiny lures. What do I need to make the shiny lures? Okay, I need three of those. I can make three things. One, two, three. Cool. One, two. I need more fireflies. So we're going to the forest to get the fireflies. First thing off the list will be the shiny lures. We get those and we're done. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Thankfully, I know exactly where to get fireflies. I also got this frog because why not? Okay. That's that part. I now need 16, 17 cobblestone. And I need some bait sticks. I need two bait sticks. Or I need actually probably one bait stick. I'll make two. Okay, we're gonna go run to the swamp now. And use the bait sticks. And then we'll go to the market. So that way I can get the moo moo juice. Or which I need to make. You only need one per, right? Yep. I need three of these. Two. Okay, cool. Go to the swamp, get the dragonflies, and then we go to the market and we start trying to gather up a god awful amount of. Okay. Mumu juice. That's all that's left that we need is the Mumu juice. Market is up. I feel like this is what's gonna take the longest. I definitely want to finish this today. It might become a thing of... <clears throat> if I don't get it done by noon, I might have to take a break and maybe do a smaller stream later. But we shall see. Okay. 
got the moon juice. Stuff and I was cobble. All I need is cobble. Or we wait and we do it tomorrow and Okay, now I just need 16 pieces. Oh look, there's nails. I'm taking these nails. If I do it tomorrow, then we can play this for like a little bit and then switch to the next game that I'm wanting to do. Which might also be a possibility. What do we see? Okay. Or nails. Okay, so now we're gonna go head to the village and try and look around there. Ugh, cause I'm at... I'm at 10. <coughs> out of the 24 that I need. So I only need 14 more. <laughs> Lots of cobble. Hmm. I need thirteen. Is where we just walk around forever. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Eleven. We're going back to the market. Controller! <laughs> Six. Five. One. I need one more piece of cobble. We're gonna go head back to the village for it. Last piece. That put me at 24? It does. We can now make three of these bad boys. I 
know there's a path like right up to the mountain, like right over here, so I'm not even gonna worry about using the portal. <sighs> we get it. We did it. Guys, we did it. Oh god, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Okay, now here's the real question. Are they still snowmen? Are these hunter things snowmen, or am I gonna have to, like, run by them? They're still snowmen! Yes! That was a one-time thing. I am down for that. Okay, let me make one. Because if I can get away with only making one, that would be fantastic. Oh, I could have honestly just gotten away with just using one. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Screw that. another goat. The plump bodies of braying goats clogging up the small geysers. The earth beneath your feet begins to crumble. The mountain goat's eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them. With no other outlet, the steam rushes towards the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant geyser erupts, sending a great spear of water high into the air. As the deluge reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals until it forms a great column of ice rising all the way up towards the mountain peak. Ha! Huh, I can't believe it worked! The last one's at the top is a spotted fawn! I'm grabbing that. To the peak! Oh, yes! You stand at the mountain's peak. Buffed by wind and snow. Now then, where's this crystal cave you spoke of? I... I'm not sure. I think it should be just up ahead. But this... But in this blizzard, I can hardly see my own gnomes. The buck jumps behind you, pointing to the frigid frog. Oh no. I have to fight a frog? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Frigid fog, not a frog. I can't read today. Wait, what was that? You squint into the 
galling winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat. I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the snowkin who lived up here. He said, if I ever went up to the mountain, the snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they would turn me around and give me false directions till I got lost in the first solid. Sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. And if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they'll know where that something is. I have a notion to find our way, as they do, but it will take a considerable quantity of their essence. But that sounds dangerous. I'll just stay put then. I know better than to wander blind in a snowstorm. Okay, well. Oh shit! It's a melting pot. I need to make a melting pot. Ah oh, shit! <sighs> I need one more of those. God dang it. Hmm. I didn't make one of these, did I? Here we go again on our own. Wait, actually, to get the red ones, it's here, so they might actually, if I just put it down right here, they might spawn. The only issue is I need cinder, which. There it is. And at least not being like too too cruel with that. Okay. We're gonna go back down. Not that way. Because at the camp there was a f come on. Why is this so difficult? There you go. There was one of those fire spots where I can get a cinder. Now, the only thing is, is I don't have enough. Of the fireflies. I didn't even need that. Huh. So, it looks like... We're going back to the forest to catch literally just the fireflies. You know, I'll take it. Those are relatively easy to get, so. And I can usually get a good amount of them. <laughs> okay. All the way back out here. Just because why not? Thank you. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to the mountains. Oh, wait. I think they need me to have... More than what I have of those. We'll see. Because it says collect snowman hearts from the snow mountain peak. You know, here's what I'm going to do. I'm again going to go through the process to collect three of them. Which I mean, I need one more cinder box and I need... So we're going to go back to the forest, I guess. 
to make three of these things because I need three of those hearts. I need one more cinder box, though. Oh, look, some of the baby mushroom things are back. Okay, so I have enough to make one more. Fantastic. We'll go get a cinder. Last one of these that I need. Cool. I have enough peppers. It's literally I need more of those, which I have two. I'm gonna need another two of these. Which I have that. I just I need more string. I need like four string. There we go, do the snippets. There's some right here. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. I can do two of these. To make two of these. And then in my inventory, switch out that. We're gonna go get. Go back to the mountain now. Get the birds. to go back up. I was about to say, oh, if that didn't work, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, I got one heart. Three. Okay. 
Look, see how the snow swirls in strange directions? Maybe the snow can know the path. You pile the mystical snow at the buck's feet and shield it from the howling winds. The flakes drift in the air like icy glitter. Oh, come on then. I'm getting chilly. You prod the snow drift with a muttering invocation. Despite the chaotic storm, the snow crystals swirl into an icy ribbon and slowly trace a line up the mountain peak. There it goes! That must be the way to the crystal cave! He takes off after the trail like a shot. You hike up your skirt and do your best to keep up with the dense snow. Shall we? His face falls as you arrive at another sheer cliff. I don't understand. The snow stops here, but... There isn't anything more than rocks. Did the snow snowkin mislead us? Are we lost? I didn't want to freeze. I don't want to freeze solid. This is no dead end. Look. You gesture to the cliff where the ed eddies of swirling snow quickly gather. Within moments, the entire wall of rock is buried underneath, under fresh white powder. You reach out a clawed finger and touch the pure snow. It melts away to reveal a glittering opening in the snow. The crystal cave! You did it! Let's go in before we freeze to death. I'm certain the crystal flower must be inside. Yes, let's go. Oh dear, look at these flowers. I didn't think there'd be so many. I'm going to pick a hope okay. You stop the imp impetuous youth with a quick tug at the mutter, mutter beneath your breath. Hold on. The prophecy mentioned that one true crystal flower. These these other flowers must be a deception meant to trap foolhardy would-be kings. Prophecy? What are you talking about? Uh, I mean to say that we should find the best single flower for your brother's coronation. Hmm. Good point. Quality over quantity. Ah, I think I see just the one right over there. It's this one. It's perfect. Just look at the reflection of the petals and the frosting on the leaves. Oh, but I seem to have forgotten my pruning shears back at the castle. Would you do the honors? I don't want to damage it. Oh, so I had to shear it? You snip the brittle stem of the flower, careful not to touch it directly. Prophecies can be nasty stuff to stick your fingers in. Buck holds the flower aloft, inhaling the blossom's magical aura. Wow, smells just like powdered snow on fresh pine trees. The moment is interrupted by the shrill cries of aristocrats clamoring against each other. I found them! Over here, my lord! In a rush of colorful fabrics and fancy hats, you find yourself surrounded by nobles. The stag steps out from their mist. Something irritating. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me, brother? The young prince blinks in confusion. What are you doing here? Have I offended you somehow? Usurper, you thought you could slip off when I wasn't looking and steal the crown from me? You think I don't know about the prophecy of the crystal flower? Why does everyone keep, bringing, keep talking about a prophecy? I picked this flower as a gift for you, brother. Fool! Only the king can choose the crystal the true crystal flower, and you are not the king. The stag reaches down at his feet and plucks the closest flower. See, only I can't. The stag never finishes the sentence. His defiant pose forever imprisons inside solid ice. Oh, my brother, what have you done? You give the mystified buck a reassuring pat on the back as the nobles gather closer. The true king has been revealed indeed. King? You mean me? You are the prince after all, and I suppose that prophecy was pretty clear. Magic flowers are seldom wrong about this sort of thing. And if you tend to your kingdom with the same care you tend to your garden, you'll do just fine. The ring of nobles crowd around the buck. You know, I never cared much for that stag myself. I think a new ruler would shake things up a bit. You excuse yourself as they bow praise and confuse the lad. Long live the king! Passing the frozen stag, your eye catches on something sticking out of the pr 
permafrost. You reach down and pick out a shard of translucent ice, careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges. Despite the warmth of your palm, it does not melt. The soul of the stag. The souls of the stag, hawk, hogs, and wolf rattle inside your pack like angry insects. That's the last of these villains. Now it's time to put an end to this wretched business with the goat. Let's go in things with the goat. Let's go in things with the goat. The goat is going to go away because he is a bad goat. It just, I like how it put me all the way down here. That's nice. Return to the shrine with the goat. We're gonna end this stiff. I'm a little bit longer than I wanted to be, but it'll be okay. I'm excited to see where this goes. The goat paws the floor with a cloven hoof. You've returned. I was beginning to grow impatient. I would have thought patience to be one of your strong suits. But don't fret. I brought the last of, the, of your souls. Delicious. Are they not? Do you know what to do? Golden feather. Simmering sensations of the hawk wash over you. The nib of a quill scratching on parchment. Coins clinking. The sharp snap of a closing padlock. The greasy gristle. Your eyes water at the smell of the hogs. Grunting swine and buzzing flies. A claver falls onto the wooden block. Blood, bone, meat. Royal crystal. A chill runs through your fingers as the stag sockets into the wall. Condescending laughter schemes into the snow. Pride, arrogance, hubris. The wolf fame. Your mind sinks into shadow in the presence of the wolf. Soft footfalls padding through dried leaves. Hot breath, big eyes, sharp teeth. That's all of them. The collected souls vibrate with an incandescent intensity. They seem to melt into the, to the recess, boiling away into tiny print bricks of starlight. Soon, nothing remains of them except twelve smoldering scorch marks on the stone wall. Ah, well done. That's that. Our contract is fulfilled. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hang on. What about your end of the deal? You said you would return my memories to me. Did I? Well... Perhaps I misspoke. You never really had any to begin with, my dear. What are you talking about? I just don't remember them. I woke up and... And met me. Yes, that sounds about right for your very first memory. What? But you told me that I brought this sleeping maiden to you. That I asked you to save her soul. Oh, what I meant to say was that she came to me. She asked me to save her own soul. But it's so very easy to get confused. You, her, really? What's the difference? Dawning realization creeps over you like ice water. Her life was cut short. Whether by the wolf's fang, or the hog's cleaver, or under the weight of a dozen other wrongs, I do not know. But, in desperation, she called out to me. So she struck a, de struck a deal. I would save her soul in exchange for theirs. One for twelve. But it's not like I could let her go and collect them herself. She needed to stay here, you see, as insurance. So, so what then? You created me? Is that it? To collect those souls on her behalf? Well, I should say that she created you, snipped off a piece of herself to do it. It was all, it, it was all worked out in the contract, of course. And now that the contract was fulfilled, panned out nicely for everyone, I'd say. So, if you, by which I mean she, ever need to get out of another bat, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Ta-ta for now. The room fills with a flash of blinding light. You blink and the goat is gone, leaving only a goat-shaped hole in the world. That's a twist. Slowly, you turn to face the sleeping maiden. You feel sluggish and heavy. You take a strained step towards the glinted coffin, 
your legs snap like dry twigs, and you crumble to the floor. The cauldron is the last to fall. It restores with a hollow clang as it bounces off the ground. You slowly open your eyes and see the vaulted ceiling of the wall of the hall. You raise your hand to touch the clear crystal surface of the glittered casket. The glass lid slides open effort effortlessly, and you swing your legs to sit up. The marble floor is smooth and cold under your bare feet. You stoop down to pick up the familiar metal cauldron. Slowly, memories come back at its touch. And that's it. Oh my god. Okay. That was a nice twist. This game was a lot of fun. <laughs> wow. Okay. I like I like that twist at the end. I was like, oh, it's probably going to be like a lover scenario or something like that. Or like a daughter thing. No, that was you the whole time. Okay. Uh, th good game. But thank you everyone for watching. Tomorrow we will be doing another kind of more so story S game. It's still a... It's... The game is a little bit dark. It's not a little bit. It's a lot of bit dark. The game is dark. You guys will find out tomorrow. It's gonna... I, I love the game. I've not beat it, but like I got a little bit through it. So now I'm gonna do a whole new... Start a new playthrough of it tomorrow. And we're gonna do that on Mondays to replace Witchwood. But thank you, everyone. Here we'll watch the ending credits. But like that—that that was fun. I like the lack of a boss. I was like wondering if they're gonna have me fight the goat at the end or something. Like I have to use spells or whatever. But no, I'm glad I saved also the stag for the end. That was a good game. Okay. But. Since all that is over now. I will go to the ending screen. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, if you had missed. Like I was saying earlier. If you missed past episodes of this. And want to do a whole full rewatch. Um, it's going to be up on YouTube. I'll upload this one probably later today. But we're gonna we're gonna find someone to raid. Let's see. We're going to raid this one person called the Goatfish eighty eight. They're playing Witchwood as well. It looks like they're pretty early in. So be kind. Do not spoil. Not that I think you children would. But, you know, be kind. Be nice. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow for a new, new game. Mm, bye now.